to be hosted in Cape Town from Monday. I'm now joined in studio by Dudu Msomi, Chief Executive Officer of Busada Leadership Partners. A very good morning to you and welcome to ANN7. Thank you. Morning to you too. Firstly, from a strategic point of view, what do you make of that statement? Well, you know, strategy is usually about choosing what not to do. Yeah? So there are countries that have come to differentiate themselves better than South Africa, it seems, in terms of the continent. Uh, so if you look at the top seven in the global environment in terms of the fastest growing, you look at Tanzania, you look at uh, Zambia, um, they are doing something that the world, because what you need to do in terms of competitive edge, you need to do something better than other countries. Mm -hmm. We're all competing for business activity. So why should somebody come to South Africa as opposed to Nigeria? Um, South Africa is also not as populous as Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, we have about f 54 million competing with, I think it's about 350 million mm -hmm. in, in terms of Nigeria. Just so in terms of the market, yeah. uh, South Africa is not as big. So how you have countries like Germany who are small countries mm -hmm. but are very efficient and have an edge in terms of technology and certain industries and, it, and they're very competitive. Mm -hmm. So what should South Africa be doing? And from a strategic point of view, strategy is about looking at the future mm -hmm. and looking at how you're going to compete in the future. What should South Africa be doing? And that's the, that's the debate. And uh, what in your, in your field of work, what do you think are some of the strategies that South Africa is not pursuing? What do you think are the strategies that we are pursuing but not effectively enough? You know, a competitive edge depends on the resources and capabilities. Mm -hmm. So resources uh, in terms of capital, energy, we are going through a very terrible time in terms of the ESCOM mm -hmm. situation and our energy. Um, you look at our capabilities in terms of skills. We have misaligned skills. We have a young population, but it has misaligned skills with what the economy needs. We need more STEM-related uh, careers. We're doing maintenance at the moment in terms of a lot of our infrastructure, yeah. but we have a shortage in terms of the talent to, in order to do that. So South Africa, we have invested a lot in education, mm -hmm. but somehow it's still not adequate to address the economy, mm -hmm. the needs of the economy. Also, South Africa is seen as quite contentious in terms of labor relations, um, mm -hmm. and that's not always positive. It's not so much the rigidity of labor laws, because Europe is also just as rigid, but it's the contentiousness that yeah. people try and avoid. We also have a very low savings uh, culture uh, in terms of South Africa. You look at China, high savings. They have enough mm -hmm. money to invest in the economy. Now, what are the aims of uh, this uh, mining conference and mining in Darba that's going to be happening specifically with regards to the economy? But uh, we're not so much uh, um, kind of uh, involved in the mining okay. uh, in Darba. Mm -hmm. On the 13th of March, as Busara Leadership Partners, we are hosting a seminar oh, where okay. we look yes. at uh, whether South Africa is losing its competitive edge or not. Mm -hmm. And one of the keynote speakers is our Minister of uh, Finance, Minister Nene, who is looking at the will, how to inspire the will and the confidence of the private sector mm -hmm. so that we can kind of inspire domestic. We're always looking at foreign direct investment. Mm -hmm. We're looking at if we're not investing in our own country, how can foreigners come and invest in our country? Mm -hmm. So we're also kind of looking at things like the role of leaders. What role can they play in bridging the economic divide? Because remember in strategy, the people that are key in crafting strategies are leaders and managers. Mm -hmm. That's their core function. And they're the ones that should be addressing these kinds mm -hmm. of opportunities. Now specifically pertaining to leadership, do you think that we have effective leaders and effective managers? Of course, having leaders to not only lead the organization, but to lead inside the organization. Yeah. In terms of management skill, South Africa really has good management skill. Whether we have in adequate mm -hmm. and creative management mm -hmm. skill in terms of uh, because our our um, challenge is not the existing the established businesses are doing well it's about the entrepreneurship that is where the challenge is that's where the job creation happens that's where growth happens and that is where we are lacking in terms of we are not look at Nigeria Nigeria um, in last year I think they opened up 70,000 new companies, South Africa only 30,000. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. What are the conditions that are creating that? Mm. And when those entrepreneurs are operational, are they getting the support? Are they accessing markets? Because it's not always about finance. Mm. You can finance someone, but if you cannot market your goods, you cannot market your service. Um, in South Africa, we can be quite risk averse in terms of we look at track record. Mm. Entrepreneurs don't have track records. Of um, so the debates we'll be having on the 13th of March is it's the leaders and managers in the room and they themselves have to look at themselves and their own organizations because we do have like instruments like the BE and procurement but when you look at who are they procuring those services to and what are those services mm -hmm. do those actually lead us to have a competitive edge I mean supplying toilet paper or you know pens is that something that we really or should we be investing in mm -hmm. companies technology companies um, you know business services companies what edge should we be having I mean you know astronomy is one of our key competitive edges in, South, in, in Africa and in the world in terms of South Africa because of our location and our conditions yeah um, but we're not attracting enough uh, people in terms of the stem environment we have biodiversity yeah. uh, which kind of adds to our tourism we have water issues we should be inspiring people to mm. find solutions, energy issues, renewable energy. There is just so much um, in terms of what entrepreneurs can do. But uh, we need to spark that creative thinking, and that's what we're hoping to do. All right, thank you very much for that. So with me in studio, Dudu Msomi, Chief Executive Officer of Busara Leadership Partners. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Thank you.